Question 400. If you made it into the Forbes 400, what pose would you take for the photo? Three of you have got it easier. Okay, I can easily. I can easily answer that one. I'll have oh. my middle finger extended like that and say, fuck off, I don't want my think photograph taken. <laughs> I'll be using that for thumbnails now. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the rich people list? Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's, good, so it's also going to be fuck off you poor people I don't want my photograph taken. Put me in a bath of money. <laughs> but you're in a what? Bath of money. <laughs> Bath of money. That'd be cool, actually, having somebody actually make money you could swim in like Scrooge McDuck. Oh, it really bugs me. Have to watch in the Family Guy episode with that in. Watching Bionic Dance dive into <laughs> their pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that was brilliant, that. It doesn't work. <laughs> Nerdy says, butt naked, arse in the air, easy. That's his profile picture. Um, uh, and that's that one. Amanda. I'd probably the same as Jeff. <laughs> All of Angel's pictures are just totally <laughs> Why not? Like mother, like son. Great minds think alike. Exactly. <laughs> Math pig. Sitting on a chair surrounded by money, naked with a big speech bubble saying, fuck you all. <laughs> when you said a big something, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got it, you don't need to flaunt it. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, I'd be, I'd be like, I'd be like Harry Enfield's old character, character <laughs> two years ago. You know, Loads of money. I bought it here so you poor people could admire it. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> right. Yeah, just a bath would be fine. But make just it a bath. really cheap bath as well. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want one of Trump's gold-plated ones? No, just make everything in the picture like really cheap, but the bath is full of money, and I'm in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you look like a miser. With... <laughs> if, I'm, if, if I'm higher on that list than Trump, I could probably do it, you know, could be like an, you, I'm richer than you to, to him, you know. See, I can't I, imagine I, anything I, more tacky than a gold bath. <laughs> So what, that's well, it depends how long you wait for the gold paint to dry, doesn't it? <laughs> Never mind. No, I'll see myself out. Yes. <laughs> right. I think we should go to the next one. You didn't ask me. Did I not? No. I'd probably to go for something really simple like a barbecue with family and you know just doing normal shit because I don't actually give a shit about the money. Um, Hardly very showy. Answer, Dave. <laughs> no, you didn't answer either, Dave. Oh, I don't. I, I go with the Superman pose. <laughs> with the underwear on the outside of your jeans as well. No, I'd probably be naked. No. <laughs> Naked oh, like Superman pose naked. Don't know. You could wear a sock. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> sure, there was a, sure there was a day he forgot to he forgot his costume and had to save someone. I don't know. Dave and socks. Mm. Where are you putting the sock? <laughs> I only need one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't give him too much credit. Don't tell him he's got a foot. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Right. <laughs> oh, Starkey answered. Uh, I think my picture would include me floating down my personal lazy river ride that's got a hobbit hole of a house in the centre of it with a geodesic dome over the top. That's 
quite a big picture. If you had enough money, wouldn't it be really cool to build a village just for flat earthers and actually build a dome over it? I think some sort of asylum might be better. <laughs> well, yes, well, the dome will go all the way over. They wouldn't be allowed back out. <laughs> actual flat earth. And it would actually be an it should be an Antarctica as well, just to prove to them, hey, you can go here. How small would something have to be for a flat earth to work? Well, anything over a thousand miles generally turns into a globe or a round. Well, this is it. You want to call it. Yeah. It'd have to be pretty small, and then yeah. nothing would stick to it. You'd have no atmosphere, which isn't necessarily a bad place to send flat earthers, but... Yeah, but they would have a I dome. Mean... Why would it be an atmosphere? Yeah, like, they would have, have an atmosphere, yeah. it'd be in the dome. They'd also float. <laughs> it would be made out of iron, and we would give them <laughs> shoes with magnets on. <laughs> <laughs> have you never they'd, seen... They'd, they'd probably probably would probably shoes on. I don't know if I'd send them all there. I'd want to keep Ranty around just for fucking lols. <laughs> and he says, and only let them communicate with 5G. <laughs> well, they wouldn't need any more than that. It'd be a small area. They could shout. Just give them all a megaphone. They'll fucking listen to each other yeah. constantly. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start digging just to find out what was underneath the flat earth. Whether it was the and pop a hole in the toe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As it slowly evacuates, they can understand it. Um, yeah. Right. Because you can't have a vacuum. Still. Yes. <laughs> <An air pressure. laughs> if you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recruited least questions, click here. <laughs>